Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Reforged Eden 1.7. My name is Spange. Welcome back. Uh, we are at a D-type sun. We've actually got one more D-type sun to warp to and I think we're done with that one. I think it goes on then to hot planets or hot suns or something like that. Uh, what I do want to try and do today, if we can, is find ourselves some silver. Uh, because starting to see that kind of thing crop up and it's one of the resources we don't actually have yet um now silver is rare on barren planets methane moons and toxic moons in hostile galaxy territories such as xerox creel drone swarm uh, for example and if we have a look at where we are in the galaxy we're obviously trying to get all the way over there now we got xerox space right next to us here and polaris there and then colonists there and the far just the other side of the uh the polaris there by the looks of it and then drone space all the way in the background there. So I think what we're going to do is a bit of zigzag. Uh, we're going to go to this D-type sun that I've marked out here. Pop into Xerac space for a little bit. <laughs> um, try and find some barren moons, methane, uh, barren planets, methane moons and that sort of stuff. Hop over to Polaris territory uh, to get more supplies, do some trade, so on and so forth. Hop in then over to colonist territory uh, to buy some of their more uh, the colonist cheap weaponry and stuff like that before we then end up at the faction headquarters over in the three sisters part of the galaxy where we'll meet up with the faction and we can actually go out and do some factiony things uh, so the exploration mission that I've got from UCH is is one thing that we've got to do and we'll try and do that on the way as a little sidebar to that kind of mission. Now, the other thing that I've completely failed to do in the last couple of episodes is introduce you to my new crewmates. So, uh, let me do that now. This... This is Steve. Can't actually pronounce his real name. So I just called him Steve. Steve is our chief mechanic. He will be looking after the SVs and such. And uh, he's just working through his supply list right now. Welcome aboard, Steve. Uh, we rescued Steve from a... Um, yeah, from a something. He's one of, <laughs> one of the crew we picked up, I think, from um, the space station we took over. And uh, you multi-tool these people down. <laughs> I don't know if you remember or not. I said, uh, join us or die, basically. Steve decided to join us. Lovely. Oh, and this is... Um, this is Zane. Zane is actually Zahn's second brother on his mother's side twice removed. Have I got that right? It doesn't matter. Zane, everybody. He's our security guard on the bridge to make sure uh, that nothing bad happens. Welcome aboard, Zane. And over here, we have Gerb. Gerb. Ger oh, so you got to roll the P. I don't know how to roll a P. Is that it? Gerb. It sounds weird. It sounds like I'm just farting at you. Hey, Gerp. Um, Gerp is a, a, is, a, is a specialist in kind of uh, scientific space stuff, right? You're our science officer, Gerp. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm sorry. Anyway, we've got one more crew member to deploy here. Um, and we'll see who it is. Let's, uh, let's, first of all, we need to find a space for him or her to go. Yes. Yes. I don't know. We've got all these passenger seats lined up here that maybe, uh, maybe I can just remove some of these things. I'm gonna get rid of these ones on this side here. And we'll set up. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Hello, Gerald. Yeah, that's right. For you on a bandit station, didn't I? Well, what the hell were you doing there? You were captured, right? Well, you didn't look very captured to me. You looked like you were working away. Don't, don't try and guilt me into the. No, 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 no. You knew what you were doing. You were working for the bad guys, okay? And I caught you. And now you're back here. The Ventress is gone, mate. The Ventress is gone. That was yesterday. Don't really give me that excuse. All right, you could have gone into. You could have been come a. Uh, you could have gone to work for Polaris. You could have worked for the colonists. You could have gone work for anyone. But you chose bandits. I tell you, I thought I thought you had a little bit more integrity than that, Gerald. Clearly not. 
Well, now you're here. With me, where I can keep an eye on you. Yeah. Now back to work. Welcome to the Matterest. Yeah, I know it's not as nice as the Ventress. It's, still, it's a good ship, alright? No, it doesn't have that many guns. We're, we're a business, Gerald. We're a business now. No, no not some freaking random rogue running around killing everything. Legitimate business people now. And the Matterist is a freighter that reflects that. The Ventress is gone. Get over it. Anyway. This is going to be pain. This is going to be nothing but pain. Anyway, let's go. Alright, so the last detail star will put a standard probe. Let's see what we get after this one then, shall we? Alright, so warp to A4V class systems. They appear on the map as small blue stars. Okay. Let's have a little look around, shall we? A4Vs and territories off a second. I think they're a little rarer as well. Um, a little harder to find, come across, perhaps. A4Vs, I definitely haven't passed very many of them. So... We may just have to kind of go off track, as it were, until we find one, and then hopefully we can just warp straight to it or something. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find one now as an example. And to be honest, I'm failing miserably. There's a blue dot over here. It is quite some distance, actually. This one may be closer. That's a WR2. Never mind. A4V? That's a B. Bloody hell. So little, little blue stars. Uh, A4Vs. Have I gone past some? Oh my god. They're all bees and stuff, the little blue ones. A3. What? <laughs> so lost. Okay, well, we're going to have to park that, I think, until we sort of see one uh, as, as we go about our business. Which is kind of how these exploration missions go anyway, these survey ones. Uh, because eventually you get to, like, rare, cla uh, rare sun types and stuff, and it tries to find some R's and... and Neutron stars and stuff like that, and it's just like what, like where? There's a B types around here. And there we go. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We will find some A four Vs. I wanted to show you an example of one, but uh, there's a neutron there. Look. Little pathophor for here. Neutron star. Lots of bees. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We will find an A four V somewhere on our journey, uh, even if I can't find one right now. Let's have a little look at this solar system. Wait, wait one second. Let me... Okay, four kilometers away. I want to stop before that and don't just overshoot it. Oh, this is... This is... This is desperate, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, I think we've been to this one before, haven't we? This is... Uh, this is Sataga. Yeah, sorry. This is one we were at before. Uh, we went down onto the... I'm sorry, what? That's a freaking asteroid. Before we went down onto the uh, Maya planet and stuff like that, we were at this one. Okay, we've got a pirate station here. So I'm going to try and hack this and get some data out of it. And then afterwards, I think we're going to warp into... Um, we need to go into Xerax territory here, which is always troubling. Uh, but we need to find barren and methane moons and stuff like that. So... Um, I think they can exist in most star systems, if I'm honest. There's a lot of MG4s. We'll try this A system here, maybe. 55 light years. We'll try that one. And um, we'll see if we can find some silver. Here we go. Here's a methane moon. There's also a barren moon, although I don't think it said barren moon specifically. There's a barren planet there, though. Barren planet and methane moon. Let's check it out. Bingo, methane moon, silver deposit there and there. And volume formations as well, holy crap. Right, but there is a lot. I mean a lot of Xerax uh, activity down on this moon. These silver deposits, um, Rados missile. And then we got Neo silos, Sathium silos. These are just silos, okay, cool. What have we got here? Unknown artifacts. Four unknown artifacts right next to each other. Neo silos and Cethium silos. Ooh, I wonder about hitting these silos up if we'd get like a chunk of resources out of them, you know? Without having to mine anything. I wonder if they're armed. Anyway, uh, we're here with the silver, so let's maybe focus on that first of all. There's a silver deposit over there that's definitely not kind of, I don't think it's going to be protected by anything. 
So let's go for that one first. This one that's closer to us here probably isn't in range of anything. Actually thinking about it, I think it would be safe to go for that one as well. Let's get down there and see what they look like. Okay, silver deposit, 600 meters. I assume these work a bit like tungsten deposits. It's in sort of chunks and whatnot. I've been hearing um, from sort of server chatter and stuff like that that silver is probably like the stingiest resource there is. And to get any kind of like decent volume, you need to mine the living bejesus out of it. So, cloud miner here. I may replace um, if I can get the CPU, which I'm sure I can. Um, it's mechanical drills with the laser drills. Just so it can actually like dig out a hell of a lot quicker than it currently does. I mean, it's not bad. I got EVA on. It's hundred minus one hundred and fifty-two out, so it's probably good. Uh, do I need a an ore detector? Yeah, it's getting an ore detector. All right, here we go. Diggy diggy in silver. I'm not seeing any nuggets come up on my scanner. So I'm not sure actually. That's even a thing. Let's head towards the center of the deposit here and see what we get. Yeah, little nuggets. There it is. Here we go. Silver ore. You get a crap load of silver ore out of each nugget by the looks of it. Hundreds of it. But I think it download it goes into powder like at a really bad ratio, so. Yeah. Let's dig this out and then I'll see about replacing these drills with laser drills, because uh Hopefully I won't have to get so into the deposits with this thing. Pick up debris. Yeah. So what did you just dock to? You just dock to the silver. <laughs> I think that's a bug where the, uh, the the silver sort of comes comes loose like that. Now to modify the uh, cloud miner here with some extra CPU. Best thing to do is take the actual turret out here, and you get this nice little gap, as you can see. Uh, you can fit a improved in there, and uh, mm, you can fit another one across there, actually. Um, now, if you need to add even more, well, then you might have to go digging a little harder. Um, the other option is you just pop them in the back here. Uh, if you're not really using this space, take those pipes out. You can put one, take those out, you can put another one there. Uh, but I'm I'm making two, so let's pop them in there. There and there we go. And we just pop the turret back there. And now the drills. First off, we got to take these ones off, and then we can put the new ones on. And voila, we have an eight laser drill mining SV. Cool. Now we just need to fix all the signal logic, and then we can go and mine that other silver deposit. See if this is any better. Or even worse. Has the range of the laser drills been nerfed or something? These don't seem to like diggy diggy quite as far as they used to diggy diggy. Might have to invest in a hover vessel drill platform on the old mana rest. Think about it. No, it's definitely easier. I'm not sure it's quicker, but it's definitely easier to handle. There we go, we're starting to get some silver now. Well, there we go. Uh, we got about 2,500 in that one, 5,800 in that one. Ooh, a bit of gold as well. Lovely. Uh, that brings our silver total up to 14,020 silver ore. So let's see what that translates to into silver powder, which is the resource we need if we want to build things like the automated harvest drills, the asteroid excavation harvest drills. Where the hell are they? I don't even think they're in here, actually. Because they're unlocked, aren't they? Sorry, ignore me. They're in the constructor. So, the automated harvest drill turrets, which harvest things like neutronium asteroids and rich, dense asteroids, require 50 silver powder each. All right. Let's put the... Um, I don't know whether the small constructor or the advanced constructor needs to do this. I don't know. Let's see. Silver powder can be done in the small constructor by the looks of it, so... Let's just crank that out. So it takes 500 silver ore to produce 10. Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, just do the best you can. And it takes... 
Wow, wait, wait, it takes purified water. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, ooh, right. Well, I used most of our water up on um, making hydrogen balls, fuel cells. Yikes. Let's just quickly move that purified water over there. Uh, there's a bit of ice in the fridge to make more, you see. So I figure that might be enough to get it, keep it going. So that's producing you know, maybe 50 per drill. So yeah, we should be able to get two drills out of that, I think. Two deposits, a deposit per drill. Right, but silver ore goes into a lot more than that. But uh, we're going to need more. So let's uh, let's see if we can find some more around here. Hit up that detector. See if anything else pings up. Yeah, it's not an actual deposit. It's something has a void information. <laughs> Alright, we need to go on the other side of the moon. Um, four floating unknown artifacts. It's crazy. So while we're here, I want to pop in on one of these uh, silos. It doesn't really help. Let's see if we can just get a bunch of resources for like super cheapsies. Just popping in. They're probably armed, but worth a check, innit? Yeah, here we go. Unknown artifacts. Four of the buggers floating right next to each other. <laughs> it's so weird. Right, there's a silo up in the... I don't know if you can see, guys. It's super foggy and weird. That is a... Xerax or silo, Promethean or silo. I don't even know if it's armed, so I'm just going to poke it, basically. It looks like it is, because my turrets are engaging. Yeah, there's like a bunch of turrets on there. Got four guns. Unarmed, though. Uh, like, unshielded, sorry, I should say. And looks like ion cannons and laser cannons. Okay, all right. Unarmed. Definitely a job for a certain little tank of ours. Not going to cost a huge amount. And hopefully there's a lot of Promethean in there. There's not a lot of Promethean in there. Then it, then it doesn't... It's not worthwhile getting a tank out and firing artillery shells. That cost magnesium and, and artillery... Uh, Promethean and stuff to get this silo. It's like stocked full of Promethean. Then it will be worth it. Oh! <laughs> I totally forgot! Uh, this is Jessica. Yeah, Jessica, our chief engineer. Keeping an eye on the warp core. Welcome aboard, Jessica! Sorry, totally didn't forget you earlier, but uh, I sort of locked you down on your own in engineering. Alright. Scorpion tank. Ready to rock and roll. Promethean silo is our target. Now, 300 meter range. This thing is a range of 200 meters according to the tooltip on the left there. But let's just lob a shell over there and see where it lands. I actually, I think, went over that turret. Yeah, it did. Snipey, snipey with the artillery round. I don't know where that went. <laughs> let's just get in there. Just get in there and bullseye these sons of bitches. Hi. How's it going? Hi. So about two shots with artillery, you will take. Uh, seems to sort them out. And of course, the terrain is uh, very favourable here. I can shoot them and they can't shoot me. So, you just would, wouldn't you? Boom, there he goes. Last turret then. Bingo. Right. The silo is unprotected. Take the doors out. I assume the laser is trying to deal with the generators. Oh, 
Sentry guns. Then we got some Xerox there as well. Son of a Xerox. Typical Xerox tactics wait until I'm firing a heavy weapon with slow reload and then come around a corner. Ooh, they're everywhere. This is a very well protected silo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, fine. My second marksman mission that I've got is actually kill um, like a hunt, like 75 Xerax snipers. I don't think any of them were snipers, so. Um, I haven't got any like anti dermal medicine on me. What are you doing up there? Strange. Gotta be careful now. Is there like a core I can bullseye in there? Look like it. Just see some containers. I'm gonna have to take out all these sentry guns. I wish they fixed that little lag spike around reloads. No, no. I feel like I get rocketed in the face enough by Xerax that doing it back to them is just sweet, sweet justice. Alright, we are in the silo. There's, there's up, which I assume just goes to the roof. Wow. I'm out of um, sniper rounds. And then there's four crates in the middle here, which has got about 250 ore in each. Hmm. It's um, about a thousand ore. I guess that's kind of worth it, actually. We barely, barely spend anything getting here. Apart from two regeneration kits, my god. They're pretty expensive. <laughs> but that's my own fault. Getting shot. And dermal burns and stuff. I suppose a thousand ore. All together. Would actually... Translate reasonably well. into fuel, ammo, that sort of stuff, so... Yeah, I think it's worth it. And there's a lot of them on a methane moon here, like this one. Alright, we're heading east on this moon. We'll see if we can find some more Promethean deposits. Uh, oh, sorry, silver deposits. These are all regular deposits by the look of it. Um, if we can't find any, we'll head over to that barren planet as well. That should have silver deposits on it. There is one silver deposit there. But it is really close to... Uh, that's just like a Sathium silo, actually. I think it'll be fine. Um, there's a Rados base there as well, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think we'll be able to get this one. And I don't think there's any more here. It's around the moon, and I'm not picking up any more undiscovered icons. The rest are just normal deposits with POIs. Cool. Let's get that then. I think we can get that without getting shot. And then we can get the hell out of here. Is the uh, the barren planet then. And uh, looks like we've got... What is that? Colony? Oh, this is Xerox colony. Yeah. Old... Well, I don't know actually. Maybe it's new. Maybe it's new. Uh, we've got some Xerox bastions and battlements and stuff like that. Lava tubes. But there is a silver deposit down there on our right. So I might go have a little look at that. And pick that up as well while we're here. In the meantime, um, I'll also have a look around this planet, see if there's anything interesting here. You know, this planet is covered in lava tubes, and I want to check one out. I have no idea what's in them, if anything at all, but they're everywhere, and, and uh, I'm curious. So let us explore a lava tube. Is it anything? Kind of annoying that they come up, like, on the, on the radar all the time. I wonder if... Revians did it on purpose on this planet. 
Let's take a look. This is the large, sort of large... Holy heck, it's 400 degrees out here. Oh my god. It was like... Oh boy. I don't know sure if I'm going to make it. My god. 450 degrees C. Don't do this to me now, ramps. Okay. Oh. Yeah, really should have uh, checked the exterior temperature before stepping outside. 449 degrees! What the bloody hell? Yikes. Alright, I need like showers and uh, meds and I got, I got, I got, what is that? Indigestion for some reason. I don't know why, it, like, you get indigestion from heat. Uh, dehydration, a bit of water or sort of that. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. All right. This is, uh, Curiosity kills the cat and all that. So it almost killed the sponge. 400 degrees centigrade. Is it just here? I mean, I know it's a lava tube and all that. Lava hot. But damn! That's freaking hot! Um, I don't think I can protect myself against 400 degrees, not without, like, augmented armor. Um, even if I stack all three insulation boosts, that will only get me up to about 150, maybe 200. Ooh, even heavy armor, heat protection 30, stacked with insulations. I get closer, but yeah, no, I don't have the uh, epic insulation boosts may do it, but I don't have them. Okay, never mind. Moving on. Lava tubes. Hot. Oh, funnily enough. <laughs> Danger. Do not go down there. 448 degrees down there. Alright, let's move on. I'm still looking for something interesting we could do here. A Xerox weapon bunker. Now that sounds like something interesting to do. Yeah, let's poke it. Give it a quick little poke. Although, to be honest, if it's still like 400 degrees outside... <laughs> uh, you must not notice because the, uh, the cloud miner must not have got hot enough in the cockpit before I mined that silver mine for me to detect. And I moved so quickly between the two that it never really occurred. But yeah, 467 degrees. This That bunker is on lava. <laughs> it's literally on, on lava. On fire. In the flames. Things on that. I see three weapons. Three weapons on it. 464 degrees. Uh, it would have been fun. Maybe doing a weapons bunker, but. You know, it's like kind of a pretty small standard POI to me. We're going to get out of here. It's far too bloody hot to do anything. <laughs> it's 460 degrees. Again, if we add like um, the advanced armor, I think protects quite high degrees. Also, augmented armor with uh, insulation boost protects against high uh, temperatures and low temperatures uh, as well. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do right now that we can survive that sort of temperature. See up here, it's lovely, 69 degrees. Chill. All right. So what I'm talking about? Let me just make sure there's not a camera about to. I did just detect a camera at Battlecruiser, but I can't see it. Al 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 oh, there's a camera. It's 10 kilometers away. Okay, that's fine. I can show you guys. The augmented armor is under system research and schematics here. Augmented light armor. It's very good at one thing, basically. And then you unlock the thermal augment, for example, which gives you a thousand degrees of heat protection. That's what we need. Um, but we need a thousand unlock points to even open that research. And then this stuff requires the augmented armor mold, dark matter containers, progenitor technology fragments, so on and so forth. So, so we're a long way away from that. We need to go to a progenitor space. Uh, the good news is the guys on the server have opened the gate. Um, so, oh god, I'm so turned around I don't even know where I am. Drone lands is that way. There's the forge, badlands, tranquility, the throne, data systems, which means there you go. The decay, ancient progenitor space up there. We've done this before in previous series. Uh, you unlock a, a sort of Stargate type thing and you can get to it, but you can't take a ship there. So you have to build a ship on the other side. 
take the fuel and stuff with you and, and do it that way. Anyway, right, what we do need is ice. Now, I've run out of uh, water to do the silver powdery stuff. So uh, we need to find a cold star and dig some ice. Um, before we do that, though, there is a rocky desert over here. And I seem to remember the rocky desert. I'm not sure if it's the rocky desert or the black desert, but there's um, a POI or, or some POIs over there that are very worth stopping by, shall we say. Let's go and take a look at this rocky desert. I'm not sure it's the right one. I'm thinking of something else, but let's hopefully get a warp on. Before. Look at that sun. It's freaking gorgeous. It's so pretty. Yep. I thought so. I didn't do it. I don't know why it's shooting. <laughs> That is the Black Pyramid. I knew there was something about rocky deserts. Black Pyramid is annihilating Rocky's last stand as we as we descend over it. Poor Rocky. Here it goes. Exploding away. That is um, one of the best loot POIs here in Reforged Eden. And I have done it many times before. Um, so I will pose you guys a question. I know quite a lot of you say that you enjoy the POI runs regardless of whether I've run them before. That is a bloody long POI. <laughs> if I run it properly, of course, it could be really short if I just bang through the freaking windows at the top and I've done with it. Um, it's a monster. It is a monster of a POI. So I'll ask the question to you guys. Do you want to, do you want to see it run properly or shall I go... Through the top either case i'm doing this because the loot is worth it right i can either do it off camera and just say here's the loot uh i can either blast through the windows at the top and take it really quickly and easily and show you the cheesy way of doing it or it can run it full length proper job through the front door guns blazing i'll pass the question off to you let me know in the comments i'll check them uh tomorrow i'll check them shortly after the video has gone up and i can actually record uh your answer in the meantime uh, there is definitely something else here. I remember seeing in the notes somewhere about... Yes, this looks like it might be it down there. Maybe that? That might be it there. It's either that one at the top. Rocky deserts in Xerax territory have a chance to have the sector command in them. So, let's see if we can find it. It's either that one there. We'll check this one up top first and then, uh... And then we'll go down and see the one at the bottom and see what that's about. In the meantime, let me know down in the comments down below. What would you like? What approach would you like me to take there? Oh, that is the wrong direction. Where am I facing? I go east. I need to go west. I'm losing my mind here, guys. Yeah, west. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to uh, do a cheap uh so quick and dirty run of the black pyramid or a full run oh we might have to spend some time here guys because that's a rados missile defense and there's also a satium refinery next to it uh, i think the satium refinery is one of a million's newer ish here wise um that'd be quite good the rados missile defense is got an admin core in it it's got pretty good loot and is a really tough poi a lot of fun um, but I've done it again. I've done that one before as well. Let's check the one down the south and see if that's the sector command I'm looking for. Yep, sector command. There it is. Oh my god, the lag. The lag. There she blows. <laughs> oh dear. Now why I'm I'm even considering <laughs> this POI. I don't know why I'm even looking at it. This looks crazy. This looks like a crazy thing to do. Um, the anti-air defense is all the way around the outside there. And then the sector command itself. Now, now, matter rest, you're going to behave yourself and I'm going to get out of the cockpit and you're going to stay your boy. Sometimes they just like to drop, start falling for no reason whatsoever. You're being a good lad today, aren't you? Artillery cannons. Twin laser cannons. Disruptor cannons. 
Interesting. Lots of drones. Lots of whatever they are on there. Probably ion cannons. Then there's sentry guns as well. All of which deal shield damage. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of like entrance weak spot. I love the little LCD laser perimeter defenses. My god. No, honestly, the weakest spot might be on the roof. Might be on the roof, you know? You can park up there. Maybe stuff can't shoot you from there, but you'd have to get a, like, super low profile something on there. And then these bloody things, disruptor cannons, actually straight out, straight off of a legacy ship. Interesting, like, there's an exclamation mark right there. I wonder what that means, whether it's anything at all. The other possibility is maybe underneath that platform there, but I'm pretty sure that guy and that guy would be able to shoot anyone there. Not to mention those artillery cannons. Ooh, that's a... Uh, that's a nut. <laughs> you could possibly get the scorpion underneath that entrance there. Underneath those guns, they do have very good gun depression though. And uh, they will have excellent gun elevation to point there. Oh my god, there's just... There's not really any... See, I'm looking at that roof and I'm just like, that's... that's The roof is... Got that big diamond thing on it. Yikes. This might be one to cheese the hell out of, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying dig underneath it or anything, but um, perhaps um, death from above, although those artillery cannons will have a very good range, as will the lasers, as will those legacy disruptor cannons. I assume that's what they are. Bloody hell, that's a mighty POI. That's a beast. That is going to take a concerted effort of probably several players with several tanks and heavily armed armoured and shielded vehicles yeah I'm not sure I can do it solo I may have to call in some help well it's settled I have summoned some assistance we will see uh, what happens in a future episode with this sector command it definitely needs to be destroyed it needs to be removed uh, but there is no way I'm doing that uh, with a scorpion tank <laughs> or a single charger <laughs> yeah we'll be back for you sector command don't you worry about it in the meantime though um, we di I did want to check out the Sathium refinery there's a Rados base right next to it as Samstorm defense the Rados base interestingly um I think that's quite a big I think it's quite a big deal actually. Sathian refinery looks like it's got two guns on it, maybe. I'm guessing. Whereas Oh. Apparently one of those is an artillery cannon. Damn! Yep, one of those is an artillery cannon. Alright, and they're very upset with me. The Rados base, however, looks like it's got a little bit more armaments on there. Sathium refinery is unshielded, so we can pick that off with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, with the, with the scorpion. Rados space's shields may prove interesting. Let's, uh, let's poke it and see what it does when we get near it. Hello, Mr. Rados space. What do you got? You got missile launchers, lasers, cannon turrets. Alright, cool. And then there's a sandstorm defense over there, which again, I'm not worried about at all. All right, so missiles, lasers, and cannon turrets. Interesting choice. Fine. I think we could probably get the Sathium refinery without having to deal with the other two. Again, we'll have to be kind of sneaky with it. Um, let's pop the Matteris down somewhere where I can actually land it. This terrain sucks. It's not the worst, though. This looks like a reasonable area if it wasn't for all the freaking rocks. Let's see if I can thread the needle, or thread the freaking giant spaceship. And this sunlight, it almost all looks orange though, doesn't it? Look at that paint job. <laughs> right, we're down. Um, 
I think we're maybe maybe on some rocks, but it's fine. We're um, out of range of everything that can shoot us. Let's turn gravity off as well. That's unnecessary. Right. Uh, my Xerax plasma cannon is out of plasma cells, unfortunately. So I do need to stop by some Polaris, pick up some plasma cells, or, you know, maybe even loot them or something. Um, temperatures are good. Radiation is good. Hello, Scorpion, my old friend. We've got uh, one in the barrel, 86 rounds. Oh my god, like ping pong off the bloody. <laughs> for the rocks. Hello. Put your helmet on, you silly man. No air in a scorpion tank. Damn thing is literally just a gun with thrusters. Right, now we need to poke this thing. Maybe let's wait until shields come up. Hang on. There we go, shields are up. Good. You get it. You get it. Laser turret. You go. That one goes. There that one goes. Right, and then I see the artillery turret. Right. Uh, I can't quite dip the nose down enough. Well, I think I hit it. Oh, it's definitely easier in third person, actually. Two hits. This is an artillery cannon, so it's going to have a lot of hit points on it. And the uh, high raised gun allows me to just whip shots over the uh, <laughs> over the horizon here. It's great. It's such a good little tank. And we got a laser turret. It's actually shooting at me. It's in range. But I hit it. But I hit it. I hit it good. Oh yeah, I remember that Rados base. Too bad actually. Taking it a few times. I think I've taken this safety binary before as well, actually. Oh, hello. Let me turn these off so I can actually see what the hell I'm shooting at. It's just an ion cannon, not a big giant plasma artillery cannon that killed the biscuit. Definitely snipe that one off as well. The uh, minimum range on this artillery cannon is so untrue. 213 meters. I'm hitting this freaking thing. Way more than that. Alright, let's see if we can approach now. Here we can. And the radar space can't do nothing about it. Apart from shoot its own base. Hi. Yeah, I'm shooting at you. Too late for you, Sunshine. There he goes. And we got a few sentry guns. Yeah, we need to take that radar space out. It's uh, it's unfortunate. Right, let me turn on my um, class quest. Because this warp to an A thing isn't happening anytime soon. So marksman level 2, activate. Don't know how many of these were snipers. I don't think very many of them were. We've got to kill snipers. Right, what am I going to do about this freaking base right here? It's cannon turrets can hit me. It's shielded and... I need to get into a position where I can shoot it and he, it can't shoot me. I might need the charger for this. It's got more of the uh, lasers and shield downing capacity than I have. Let's see if I can use the terrain over here to get smack myself into a friggin' rock. The thing is, is like that cannon turret is definitely. Yeah, it says that EMP turret actually. Damn it. Can it almost get the laser turret? Wait, right, can laser turret can shoot the uh, the drone? Now oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oops, just run it over. <laughs> That'll do. Almost like I need to lift the laser turret up a little bit to the point where it can shoot. But the turrets can't shoot back. I'm not sure that's entirely possible. Yeah. Probably not. We need to charge. See, the charger, I could probably shoot from here. 
like the lasers and not be getting shot in the back. But that um, the cannon turrets on top are particularly nasty in this particular case. They've got. Let's see, no, 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 that definitely getting shot there. Yay! <laughs> where can I go? Where I can shoot? They can't shoot. These are the questions, and I don't think there is uh, probably a turret on the back left corner as well. Yeah, those turrets have a great ground coverage all the way around. I gotta get the shields down before I can do anything. Now you got this laser turret. Um, I gotta have to get the charger, I think, and uh, we have to see if we can bomb it. Got missiles, ion cannons, lasers, and cannon turrets. So, uh, this is gonna be tricky. Come on, stop getting stuck on the ground. Pitch up. There you go. Silly tank. Alright, let's see what a flyby looks like. Ninety percent shields. Eighty percent shields. Seventy percent shields. Sixty percent shield. And there's down to about seventy. Fifty percent shields. Got a lot of missiles following me right now. Oh, fuck, that doesn't help. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Pitch is slightly lacking. There's just not enough output of uh, output of laser fire to really kind of deal with the hit and run thing before they recharge. My laser turrets are targeting turrets. Let's take them off the predators. I have no idea what I just completed, but... Oh, I just discovered the Ignodon. Yep. Yeah, I'm awesome. I know. Alright, let's get these shields recharged then, please, charge it. So the only option really is to do the hide and seek thing again. Which I'm guessing I probably can't do from as far as the uh Sathium refinery there. Need to upgrade the charger with like an aux core or something and just get those gamma uh, laser cannons attached to it. Then it will get some shields down. Yeah, those base shields, they just recharge so fast. It's crazy. Faster than SE shields do now. Well, these ones do anyway. Draxian scummies. Can't see the shield number. The uh, Sathium refinery is in the way. My shields are at 50%. I'm gonna have to bug out in a second. There isn't really much I can do to shoot them where they can't shoot me, you know what I mean? Are those shields down? 16%. Damn. They're close. Two lasers are firing, but it's enough. Shields are down. Right, do they stay down? No. Coming back up already. 4%. 3, 2, 1. Down. Down, down. Sort of down, half down, completely down, permanently down. <laughs> Shield generator in that thing is only like a compact as well, isn't it? Oh no, it might be a big one. I can't remember. Right, now I need to get the rockets on the uh, the turrets. Not removing those turrets. And a little bit more shields, 82%. The old peekaboo works again. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> hey! I see you! Oh, look, a Xerox sniper. Hi. <laughs> that counted! Love it. Hi. Whoops. 
bit higher next time. Four missiles to the face. You ain't gonna get out of that with a basic reconstruction surgery, I tell you. Alright, one turret down. There's laser turret down. There goes the laser turret. Get the cannon turret on the roof. There she goes. Missile turret. The shield generator's right there, look. But it's fine. I don't think the shields are recharging, or if they are, they're not recharging quick enough. Gat turret. I think this thing is adequately defanged. As is Sathium Refinery. Let's get a mana rest and let's get our loot on. Alright, Sathium Refinery. Refinery. Up, Zeraxian scummers. Bastards working together, they were. Right, heavy ordnance this time is in the form of a plasma cannon. It has an anti ship mode, which one shot sentry guns. No, there's two shotting nonsense. Oh, yes. Probably connect to the Matares loot box. Bitch. Is he saw an inventory out? Exit door is open. I'll pop out to the ship and heal up. I like to use these regeneration kits so liberally. Oop. Dead. Alright, here we go. We're back, we're back, we're back. There's a spawner. Right, stairs down. around here. Where did he spawn from? And how did he spawn? It's a bobs. Let's clear this top level first. Now. Yatch. I'm all the way back outside again, okay. Ooh, nice shot. <laughs> Good job, Matt Rest. Freaking nailed him. Absolutely nailed him. Look at you, sucker. Oh. Ow. Ha <laughs> ha head back in. Let's clear these scumbags out. Right. Your robot. Shot him in the toe. Toe shot. Yep. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, traitor. Traitor. Whatever. Let's 
set your gun down. Ah, see, I got crouched too now, see? Shouldn't have stopped crouching. You would have been fine. God, this gun is awesome. It's so good. Give me your sandwiches. All your sandwiches. Credit cards. I think they're all clustered under there like a bunch of morons. Hi. Cookies! That guy had cookies. Most sophisticated Xerox. Learn to pass, scrubs. Or don't, whatever. Right, I need to go through this door here. Uh, but I can't remember how to open it. Oh, there you go. It opened. You just get near it. Gotcha. Get a furnace out of this, hopefully. That'll be lovely. Hi. Not cool, Xerax. But I'm changing weapons. I knew you guys were scum, but that's scum on a whole new level. Trying to get rid of the sentry gun. That's all I was trying to do, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Loot boxes and stuff. Yoink. 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 And yoink. And over here. Ooh, let me uh, get rid of that before anything happens. Fire suppressant system. In case of fire, shut down all thermal elements. Furnaces close all pull bulkheads before enabling the system. Failure to do so will cause irreparable damage. I failed to do so. <laughs> I may have forgotten something. Sorry. Oh dear. Love it. It went fun. Hey, uh, let's clear up. Let's loot. There is some actual loot crates in here. More than what I've found and dug up, I believe. I hope. I'm about to leave. Leave contact. Oh my God. Ah, oh, there, there you go. There's one. Go quickly before it. Ah, oh, left. Oh, never mind. The actual uh, mounds of soil here are actual sathium. You're gonna dig it out. And you get Sathium. Oh, you do, honestly. There you go, Sath Oh, hello. I knew it. I knew it. I told you there was one. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. That's lovely. I like that. Yes. Very nice. Well, there we have it. Uh, not bad, actually, really. Or a simple little Sathium refinery. Some bridges. Some gold. Uh, we managed to recover some blocks from our little salvaging effort. Uh, about 156 Sathium. And a advanced armor boost as well. Very nice. Okay, and lots and lots of little bits of bobs in between. As always, very nice. Now, I'll probably go ahead and take down that Rados base as well. But that is going to be all for today. I'll try and rally some troops to do that sector command base. And uh, do let me know uh, again about the Black Pyramid and what approach you think I should take, you'd like me to take. It'd be great to get your feedback on that one. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.